We are only hours away of this uh, referendum, not clear what's going to happen on Sunday. How do you see it all? Well, obviously, the desire for self-determination from the Catalan people has been rising over a number of years. And, I mean, I come from a country that's also made up of a number of different countries, and I have family who are Welsh and Scottish, and so I think I have some understanding of that desire for self-determination. But I'm quite concerned that the way this has been provoked and then the response from the Spanish state has actually led to quite a dangerous situation. So my inclination here is to seek external mediation and to try and calm the tensions down. I mean, the, the fact is we were seeing scenes on the streets of Barcelona which really harked back to the 1930s, you know, and the Franco era. It was quite disturbing seeing um, armed police there, you know, seeing officers being raided, people being arrested. I mean, this was the concern. It was authoritarian action. It was action that harked back to a time which we thought Spain had moved beyond. And they, they were scenes that are unacceptable in a modern democracy, in my view. And, and I called on my prime minister to condemn those actions by the Spanish government, which is, which is not, not, I don't think, to take a side in the dispute. I think it's just to say there's certain behaviour that's no longer acceptable. And what was being done by the Spanish state went, went beyond what was acceptable, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's also concerning that you know the journalists are raising these issues but where are the politicians either at national level or at european level you know they're all just running scared of this issue because they're going to offend somebody if politicians from outside don't come in and support and try to mediate then the situation could get much more dangerous i think so i think european politicians do have a responsibility to, to get involved and to try and help ease the, the tensions